Hello guys, and today we're going to start a brand new series, and the game we're going to be playing is Stone Shard. So we're going to try a permadeath run, and let's see how we get on. Let's get straight into it, let's play the game, I want to start a new game, I don't want to continue. And we will go start from the events, we won't bother doing the prologue, because I already know what happens, and we will start with permadeath on. So here I am. The caravan is gone. My leg is crippled. Half my men are dead. And the if I knew I had to deal, ah, I need. Come yeah, on, I know what he says, so I'm going to skip all that. Right, it's character selection. Who are we going to go for? So I think for this playthrough, we're going to go for a double axe, maybe. And we might go for Jorgrim the Reaver. Uh, just because he has got Berserker friendly as well and he's proficient in two-handed axes So let's go with him because I think he'll be pretty Pretty tanky for this run. Is that so? It is so, Darren. Anyway, enough pleasantries. So here we're in. Don't, uh, go on, just give me the map. Can also nice, so we've got the map. And first things first, let's use that map. There we go. So we've got a little outline of the surrounding area. Okay, so we've got a few... Is that the brewery there? That might be the brewery. And we've got a few places around there. Okay. And, oh, well, let's throw that. Let's get rid of that. I'll drop it. Right, there we go. A bit more inventory space. So what we started off with. So we have got a Dwarven Axe and we have got a, a Drifter Blade. So let's... Well, I don't want to throw that one we're doing. Right, let's dual wield them for now. Uh, we've got 350 gold, couple of uh, we've got leeches, couple of bandages. We've got a bit of smoked ham, and we have got some mead. So first things first, let's speak to Veron and let's get that ring off him. There we go, lovely. And farewell, Veron. I do not want to speak to you ever again. Let's equip the ring. So control resistance plus five, fumble chance, and backfire chance minus one. Oh, I love some of that. Well, first things first, I want to go upstairs and see if I can steal anything. We want to get some gold together first. Let's hit this barrel up. What we got then? Uh, gaming dice and hourglass. So we'll take the hourglass, we'll take the dice. Well, we might as well take everything. Alright, let's hit his room up. Let's shut the door behind us so he doesn't know what we're doing. And what we got? Candle ends. Uh, we'll take the copper candlestick and linen shirt. Right, we'll take that. Well, now we just need to put that into our stash. So everything that was stolen, let's put them in there and wait for them to come mine so we can sell them. Well, let's head upstairs as well, see what else we can find. Uh, what should we take? What else we take? Everything. So we've got a barrel there, 10 gold to get for that. Uh, simple earrings. Well, we'll take them. We'll take the travel pot as well. No, yeah, well, let's just grab everything. Take that onion. We'll take the cabbage. The peasant shoes, we'll have them. And here. Um, candlestick, we'll take that. I'm not bothered about the mug. Take the bottle of oil. And I think that's it. Alright, here we go. Let's go put this back in my chest. Can't have enough room for all of this. Yeah, just nice. So hopefully when that comes through, I should get a bit of gold from that. All right, let's head outside and do a bit of exploring. We'll go grab some quests. Speak to this drunk here. Uh, show me your goods. I don't want to see your goods. I want a quest. Do you have any work for me? Yes, you do. You want a bottle of brandy? I can get you a bottle of brandy. Speak to Bran, I don't think he gives me anything, does he? Let's go get a quest. The blacksmith. Work for me, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so he wants uh, simple cleavers, falcons, or other crude simple blades will work best. Yes. Alright, oh, tell me some rumours. Have you got anything? No. Let's hit the market trader up. What's he selling? Oh, warm all. Mm. An identification scroll as well. Let's. I need to get some gold first. So yeah, we'll do that deal, and we need to bring him some pelts. And have a little drink. I do need a double-handed axe, really. I'll probably wait. I've got skill points down here on my abilities, but. I'll probably wait till I get a double um, two-handed axe before I actually put any points onto it. Alright, let's go visit the armourer, get, get quests off him. This gate's really annoying. I know that I've seen the other day there is actually a mod to get rid of that gate, so I might actually download that at some point. Alright, give me some work. Uh, what do you want me for me? You want some pouts, that's fine. And with some rumours. And the carpenter, does he give you a quest? I can't remember. Hey, what's he good enough? No, give me some rumours though. No, nothing. And where's the other quest? The quest is from the herbalist. Speak to this dude. Oh yes. And we'll ask him about any rumours. No, nothing. Okay, right, so we could go speak to the Alder and get that quest, but I don't think we're gonna uh, be as powerful yet, so I'll probably wait to that. I'll probably need to level up first, at least hit level two first. So, where should we go? Let's head out and let's head south. Let's go for it. We'll find some enemies, see if we can level up. And what do we need? Ah, uh, spearmen. That's what I need for that quest. I remember correctly. Spearmint, Agrimony and Flea Wart, yes. What oh, nice. So there's some Spearmint. Need the rest now. There's Flea Wart. I just need Agrimony now. Rhubarb. Let's grab some Rhubarb. Spin in there, well, we'll grab it. Take it with us. Okay, right, we've been spotted. Right, come on then. That's obvious. Just wondering if I could use any. Just help me in this battle. Um, warfare, I could use warfare. Quite like the uh, war cry, that's decent. Yeah, you know what? Let's learn war cry because that confuses the enemy. And I have got another one that I can use. Seize the initi initiative. Athletics, no, I can't do that yet. Uh, basic skills, I don't want any of them. 200 axes. Uh, I can't use them yet. I think that's go for. I don't really want to do too weird. I don't want to waste any more points on it. Did you see that seize the initiative?
Well, we're doing passive on this, might as well set up, so it gives me 10. Uh, 10 accuracy, uh, minus 10 damage taken, and minus 10 ability costs. That'll do. Go for it. Right, let's see how we get on with this. Right, let's use Warcry. Confuse them. We'll try and split them up. Nice. Um, we've got a Battle Cleaver now, so is that going to be any better than these? 17 slashing damage, 20 slashing damage. The energy cost is lower. But I'm not fussed about that. Right, let's put that on. There we go. Nice. Take that play in as well. So we can sell that. And let's just rest. I don't think they did any damage. No, slightly to my right leg. But it's all good. Well, let's try and find that Agrimony. At least that's one quest out of the way. Uh, how many skill points did I actually get for that? 150, odd. Okay. Nice. Right, let's grab this spearmint. I suppose there's loads of spearmint around here. Whenever I play, I can. it's always like the last one to find. Grab some blueberries. look at the map so there's no points of interest at the minute and hopefully we don't see any wolves or anything in here and there should be an abandoned car around here somewhere yeah there we go nice right, let's have a look what we got we've got a bit of rope we'll take that we'll take the nails and let's have a look in the carts Nice, right, so we've got the plane, so that's for the carpenter. We can always take that back to him. So we'll take that. Let's read this for a bit of XP. And then we'll take a bottle of oil. Definitely take it then. Nice, right, so we'll take it all. I think if we head back now, that should give us more XP once we give that plane back to the carpenter. And I might just head through. Head through the forest, see if we can find some agrimony on the way. Oh bloody hell, I've just been hit by a snake. Why is it being poisoned? Crap. Okay. Just rest till that poison clears. Uh, I'm intoxicated now though, so let's have a quick look at my health. 48% immunity has gone up, uh, up down to 49%. Well, let's just rest, get my uh, health points up. Did this snake come from nowhere? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, Agrimony, 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 where are you? Grab some raspberries, oh, got some nettles, no, interested. Hog bean. Okay, right, we've we'll hit someone. Nice, well, let's, uh, let's use Battle Cry again to uh, confuse him. Pleasant flail as well, because we can sell that. How much can we sell that for? 99. Well, if we get a 99 for it. So let's get rid of. Uh, hunger's gone a bit up to 18%. So let's eat these raspberries. There we go, let's pick the flail up. There we go, nice. Fog bean, don't want you. Oh, where's this agrimony? Aha, there we go. Nice. Let's pick some of that up. I need to get something out of my inventory. Uh, do any of these reduce 
Intoxication, yeah, spearmint does. Oh, I only need one of them. Well, let's eat two of them, and then we'll need a drink as well. There we go, nice. Intoxication's gone down to 32% now. Grab that, there we go. I can complete the quest for the herbalist now. Well, let's go do the herbalist first, then we'll go see the carpenter and give him his plane. Alright, you there, Frid. Finish your task. You're a lifesaver, I mean it. Here, take this. I will take that, thank you very much. What, the carpenter? Oh, he ain't gonna be there, he's gonna be in his house asleep, isn't he? I can't enter! Oh, okay, we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to go rest. Uh, let's go and fill my water skin up first. There we go. Nice. Uh, let's go to the inn and we'll take some rest. We'll probably sleep to the morning when the market's open so I can sell the uh, sell these flails. Alright, you there. Rent me a room for... Well, we'll rent it for a week. How much gold have we got? 260. Sleep until sleep till eight in the morning. All right, let's head out. Let's go sell some of these bits in the marketplace. Right, my belly is rumbling, so I do need to eat something. So let's eat a bit of smoked ham. Um, thirst as well. I can go drink from the well. Uh, intoxication's gone down to 13 now. Nice. Right, yes, he's open. Nice. Right, first let's go see the Smith. Alright, you there. Tell me some rumours. I think, no. Um, uh, instead of selling them, actually, what can I do? Drifter blade and pleasant flail. Well, I sell them. So, I'll drift about, I don't know if that. Hmm. Cleavers, that could... I'll keep that cleaver. I'll sell that drifter blade. It does probably better with the skill energy cost. Um, but this does more body part damage, so I'll stick with that. And let's sell... Let's sell that. We'll sell the flails. I'm just going to give me that. Two for them, is that it? Draw ability on them. Hmm. Oh, okay. We'll do that anyway. Uh, the rope, I don't want to sell it to him. And have you got an axe for me? That's what I want to know. Yes, he's got a militia pole axe, which is fine. I haven't got enough gold for that. Um, Good by the Dolier de Law, however you say it. Or the peasant scythe. That's probably going to be better than militia pole axe, but I need to get some gold for that. So. Let's go and get some gold. So the rope, let's see if we can sell the rope to the armorsmith. Hold, hello. Let's show me your goods, kind sir. Uh, rope, he's only going to give me three for the rope. Crazy. What oh, we'll do it. All adds up. Nails, two for the nails, so the carpenter probably 
might give me more for the nails. A uh, bottle of oil, I could sell that to the market, market trader. Um, well, I don't want any, any clothing at the minute. I want to save up for that uh, 200 axe. So the nails, they only give me one. I wonder if the smith will give me more. I'll go and have a look. If not, I'll just sell it to the market trader. Um, okay, fair enough. Right, let's give him that plane anyway. Uh, found this plane in the abandoned cart. Would you look at that? I was indeed expecting it. Thank you for the trouble. No, it's 25 gold and I got some mead from that. Now, I wonder what it'll give me for that rhubarb. I don't really need it. If I can get a bit more gold, if we get that 500 gold, that'd be bonus. Nice. So we've got a new room about an encampment nearby. Um, rhubarb, it'll get oh, three for it. Is that it? Spearmint three. And what? It's not even worth it. Tell you what, we'll do. I'll go inside and see if I can steal anything. Have a look in his barrel. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, nothing. Copper candlestick, is that it? Pointless. Uh, let's head back to the market and see if we can sell these nails. Have a quick drink. Uh, let's see how much you'll give me for the nails. Two. And. Market trader. Who is he? What's his name? Bert. Who would give me one from? Okay, so it's better off selling to the smith anyway. Um, I will sell that bottle of oil. To him. I could do with some more food as well. Let's sell the nails. I do need to get some food. Um, I might be alright for now. I want to go do a bit of wandering so I can um, grab some more bits to buy this axe. So let's sell these. Sell both of them, that's fine. I'll be alright food because I've got rhubarb as well. And I've got uh, acorn and some blueberries. I can always grab some more stuff on the way. But that's what I want. The militia pole axe. 24 slashing damage. And but hopefully if we go for a little wander. By the time we get back I can sell some of the goods that are in there as well. Fifty crowns? No, you're having a good laugh, aren't you? I don't think so. Kill him for that. I'm not gonna. Not yet, anyway. I might come back for him. Have a quick look at the map. Where's this encampment? So it's over there. I think. Let's head. Do, do, do. Let's head north. We'll follow the path. And we'll head north. Follow the path. Not we'll out some bandits on the way. How many skill points? One hundred and eighty-six. Let's go north and well, let's grab the flea walls as well because that's dis decent. Bleed resistance and health replenishment, which is good. Burdock as well. That have restoration, intoxication, resistance. Yeah, what's my intoxication lot now? Nice, it's at zero. Immunity is still on 11%, but let's look at the map. So, where are we going? Yeah, let's just follow the path. Ah, there we go. Nice. Well, let's try and bait him over on his own. And I will use Battle Cry. Nice, pick his flail up. 
And let's rest. My damage. Yeah, a bit of damage to my left and right hand, but okay. And was he on his own? That is the question. It looks like he was. Uh, any points of interest? No. on this tile and okay so we've got a point of interest here on the left or did we go to there all right let's go left we'll follow the path and we'll go left just for that point of interest we'll go see what it is Should be on that tile now. Yeah, go and check it out. See what's going on. Okay, nice. We've got a abandoned cart here. What have we got then? Oh, we've got a gold tooth, and the rest is just bones, which I'm not really interested in. But we'll grab that gold tooth. What can I sell that for? Twenty gold. Is that it? Not the schools. No. North or west? Let's carry on west. We'll go over to here. It looks like it's going to be one of these rips. Cemetery. I won't go in it, but if I can find something lying around. Well, at least I know where it is on the map then, anyway. Yeah. The Canobium of the Triune Host. Oh, there's some corpses, though. Eh? Sure. Great. Well, let's loot these, if we've got anything. Um, horseshoe, yeah, we'll take it. Gold tooth, nice. And on that corpse. Oh, seven gold there, another gold tooth. Oh, pick, um, lock picks, nice. I've already looted him. The corpse is here. Gold teeth, loads of gold teeth. More gold teeth, nice. Oh, nothing on that corpse. Last one. And a talisman gar garment. But it's absolutely battered. Eight durability. I'll probably look if I get a lot of two gold for that. Okay, so I'm not going to go in there until I get this axe. At least I know where it is now, anyway. But nice, no, so I did get 114 XP for that. So, 323 now, so I'm just over halfway for levelling up level 2. And what I want to do is go back and sell all these. I should get, what, 20? If I get 20 for them, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. It gives me 100, a couple of them, a couple on there. So I might just have... Just shy of 500. All right, let's go back. So we'll put a marker on this. I've got a mod installed on this, so it's um, basically auto walks to wherever you put the marker. So if I put a flag on there and press F3, there we go. Just give your hands a little bit of a break and it'll just auto walk to there. And he will stop if he spots any enemies as well. So quality, um, great quality of life mod. If you want to go check it out, um, it is available on a Nexus Mods download. Go check it out because it really, really is a uh, good mod for it. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. He stopped. Okay. So, you follow me. Are you on your own? I think you are. Oh no, there's two of them. Well, let's hit him with the battle cry. what we've done. Uh, it's okay, right hand, a bit damaged, but um, what we got? Homemade sword, nice, and a battle cleaver. Oh, ability is that on 31 of 58, so let's drop that, let's pick this one up. This one's 36, so it's better durability, yeah, so we'll take that. And right, I need to get rid of some of these. Right, let's use these flea warts to patch myself up, just Make some room in the inventory. There we go. Oh, I should have enough space for both of these now. There we go. Nice. Homemade sword. So, if I get another one, I should be able to finish the quest as well. For the blacksmith. So, is it just them two? Yeah, looks like it. So, now we stopped as well. If I just press F3 again, it would just continue that journey. Look at my health, I haven't eaten in a while. I'm about 20% 30%. I might eat some blueberries. Let's just eat all of these. And you're walking while I'm checking that. So hunger's, yeah, so it's dropping lightly. Not great blueberries, but. Oh, I've been spotted. Uh, right, let's use Battle Cry. Nice. We've got another Battle Cleaver there. And I just want to check what the durability is on that one. That one is 30. Yes, yeah, so this one's better. So let's stick that one. Put that one there. That's good. Nice. So it's F3. Let's carry on. So I made it back to the market. Let's go speak to the uh, the market trader. Obviously, I can't remember his name, but oh, Bertie. And we should sell him the gold tea. Fourteen gold. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's get rid of all of them. Horseshoes one. And what else? Flail. It's going to give me ten for a flail. Oh, let's get the sun in the flail as well. What that do is 439 gold now, nice. So I'm getting there, getting near my uh, 300. Let's go and have a drink. Speak to the blacksmith. No, I don't want to ask about the village, I want to look at your goods. I can't look at his goods. Why is he not letting me? Oh, that's because he's clocked off. He's going to the tavern, that's why. Fair enough. And what else do I want to do? There's no point. There's no merchants around at the minute. So I might as well go and sleep to the morning. And then we will sell them horseshoes. And hopefully some of them stolen goods should be able to sell. They should be uh, all kosher then. The door for a bit of privacy. Let's have a quick look. Oh, nice. Most of them are um, good to go now, anyway. So, what we've got fur vest is. No, that's not. I can still sell that. Oh, hi. Well, let's sleep first. Let's sleep till the morning. Let's sleep until. Let's sleep until 8 in the morning again. <laughs> Right, 
let's open the chest and let's take out everything that I can sell. So that spawns in 14 days. Well, I'll take the onion with me. Uh, travel pot. Well, we'll take that first. Take the travel pot. And what else should we take? I'm probably going to have to come back for them. Uh, peasant shoes. They're actually better condition now. Water. So let's swap them over and I'll sell more worn peasant shoes. Let's take that candle. We can sell that as well. Oh, let's go. Let's do a bit of trading. I should. I should be able to hit that gold for that double handed axe and uh, two handed axe. Oh, are they awake? Yeah, they're good to go. Let's go speak to the blacksmith. Show me your goods. And we still got it for sale as well, so that's good. And I wonder if them three count as the... Yeah, they do. Finish your task. Nice. Ah, there we go. Nice. We've got lots and lots of gold from that. Show me your goods. So that one's gone. I can sell that home at four. I don't think it'd be four for that. Or shoe, give me two. Well, let's just get rid of them. Taking up inventory space. And now, so I could sell that more of an axe as well. Or could. That could be my second loadout, couldn't it? No. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I've sold it. So let's go. No, what? Let's just sell it. We'll sell it. Uh, Militia pole axe. That's what I want. So let's buy that. Four hundred ninety-two gold. There we go. Lovely. So we've got double ha um, two-handed axe now. And then I haven't got anything for a second. So if I do pick up a second true weapon, I will select that as my uh, second loadout. Okay, nice. So let's go hit the market trader up. Old Bertie. And what will you give me for the travel pot? Two. Is that it? Candlestick, he'll give me one. Let's see if the smith will give me um, more. Yeah, so he'll give me five for that and two for the copper candlestick. Well, let's just get rid of it. We'll do. Clear up some space and let's go see the. The armor smith to sell this linen shirt. Have a quick drink. Uh, how's my hunger looking? Eight percent. I do need to go buy some. Um, but I've got a cabbage as well. I can always take that with me. What are we on? Three nine two experience. So I do need to get up to level two just so I can get a double-handed um, backing ability. I'll say you will buy that for seven gold. Okay, that'll do. All right, let's see if we can get some better armor. So I do need some gloves. What have we got here? Falconer gloves, so 312, and we've got enough. Uh, I could get some leather gloves for 93. They're going to give me 4% physical resistance, blue resistance, and 2% uh, fumble chance. Well, I think I'm going to buy them. Well, right, let's buy them. Nice. And what else can we buy? Apprentice Cowl. Could buy the hood. Gives me physical resistance, bleed resistance, and 2% dodge chance. Well, money for that one. Uh, the cloak, travelling cape. Gives me dodge chance 5%, health restoration and fortitude plus 5%. So I could buy that if I wanted to. Well, let's go for that. We'll buy the traveling cape as well, just for fact it gives me it ups my dodge chance as well. Buy that. Let's sell the worn cloak. Equip that. We've only got 53 gold. I don't think we're going to buy anything else. How much is that hood? 43. 247. Okay, well that'll do. Alright, nice. So I've got a bit better armor now. I've got a nice axe. I just need to level up now. Get another um, another, another ability. Let's 
Um, so, where should we go now? Let's head to... Oh, could, could head down here towards this place. Yeah, that's, that's like a cemetery. Well, I think, yeah, I think let's head down there. I just need to make sure I've got some food and some water. Let's have a quick drink. My water skin's topped up. I've got some food. Um, I think I'll take that lettuce with me. Let's go in here and grab that lettuce. And I'll oh, warm it up. I might as well sell all these. Take them, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take them. And let's take the lettuce as well. Okay, I might as well sell them for some gold while I'm on my way. I'm gonna see the market trader. Here, I know there is a loot in here. Yeah, I'm not sure what I could sell that for. Get that. I'm not fussed about a loot. And well, I'll tell you what, actually, if I go in here, if I speak to one of the guards, they'll actually give me a free weapon which I could sell. So I could have actually got a two handed axe from him. Let's go for. I'll take the crossbow. Yeah, I'll take the crossbow. I could always have that as my secondary weapon then. Well, right, let's confirm that. Then I need to. Take that as my secondary weapon. Uh, put the arrows in there. There we go. Nice. At least I could do a bit of a range combat now as well. Have a quick look down here. See if I can steal anything. Uh, what we got here? Yeah, we've got mead. Let's take the mead. Black bread and lentil soup. Make a bit of room for that. There we go. Nice. Hopefully I don't get caught. Let's just head out. Let's just put this straight back into my stash. Before, we get, before any of the guards spot me. Flatbread, orange. Oh, I just ate it. I didn't mean to eat it. Ah, oh, what a div. Oh, let's put the bowl away and we'll put the meat there as well. I didn't mean to press that button. Um, but I am stuffed now as well. Oh well. Well, let's go. Let's go and sell the rest of this loot, and then we'll head off towards the cemetery. Hey Bert, show me your goods. Oh, I'll sell you a bucket. One gold, is that it? I'm probably better off just filling that with water and taking it with me. Well, let's sell the dice for 11. Nails, get rid of them. We'll get rid of the simple earrings. Pop a candlestick. And I'll sell them on the way. And with that water bottle, what I'll do, I'll probably just fill it up. Take it with me, you never know. We might need it. There we go. Well, let's head to the Armorsmith and then we'll go out and try and find some more bandits. Put a marker onto there, so just needs F3 and we auto travel to that POI.
quick look at the map, where are we? Got no points of interest, we'll just carry on walking towards here. Hopefully when I discover this, it should. What are we on? Uh, yeah, might maybe level up to level two. So we'll go and see. There we go, nice. Now oh, there is a couple of graves I can dig, but I do need a shovel, which I haven't got. Right, okay, nice. So, with this build, I'm probably gonna go for strength. Let's just add it all up strength. If I can hit level 15, um, and that'll also grant me body part damage, crit efficiency, and armor damage. So let's go for that. And skill wise, I want two handed axes, and we're gonna go for the. Um, we're gonna go for the hooking shop, I think. So I can keep my distance and hit them, and it will pull them towards me as well. well let's go for that. There we go. Nice. And should I enter this? Should we go for it? Oh, right, let's try it. So we are on permadeath mode, but we'll go into it. Everything's looking pretty good. Get my health, check my thirst, it's fine. My unit is 11%. So we're looking pretty good so far. So I think we've got some bandages for bleed resistance. We've got some healing salves. We've got the pick locks. We have got some leeches. Well, let's go for it. The frowning bolt. Go for it. Let's see who's in here. I think who's in here, deal was bleed damage to be fair, but got a few bandages on me, so. Okay, so we've got a skeleton archer there as well. Let's use fucking shot coming towards me. No. Okay, nice. He dropped a shiv, and there is also a chest there as well, so let's quickly rest up. Shiv up. I'm gonna sell that for 19 gold. Um, what with this? There is another one in there as well. Yeah, there's two of them, so let's use Battle Cry. Nice, made short work of him. Uh, we've got another Budios F Restless. He's confused at the minute. So he didn't drop anything. One is coming towards me, might as well have a look, see what's in these boxes and chests. Well, I'll do the chest in a minute, do these first. Shop. There we go, look at that, his head went flying. And just some more bones in here. I don't think there's anyone else in there. I think it's in the next room. Right, let's open this chest and see what we've got. Ooh, what we got here? Silver amethyst ring, which gives me plus five max health and five percent experience gain. You beauty, we'll take that. We will equip that. Nice. We've got 58 gold, we have got some brandy, which is good for the um, quest with the drunk, so we'll take that, and we've got a hunter hatchet, so we'll take that as well. Okay, looking good. Uh, my right leg do have a bit of healing, so let's use a flea wart on my right leg. Pick this one, we got 39 gold and a silver cup, nice, we'll take it. 
Get these sarcophaguses out as well. Put in there. Oh, gold and gold tooth. Nothing in there. Let's head over this direction. Quick little 86, only a thousand to get to level 3. Hello. It's in with a hooking shot, nice. Yeah, they're pretty easy to beat. now weapon damage plus 15 percent counter chance damage taken and magic power you beauty no, i don't want to shut that what we got on here oh look at that An unidentified two-handed sword i'll oh, definitely take that uh we have got an amber amulet so that gives me uh move resistance and fortitude see i think that could be pretty good with the fortitude because i'm going to go for a lock Quite a tanky build. Um, the amulet at the minute is counter chance, damage taken, and experience gain, so that's probably good for leveling up. I do want to take that. I'll take the gold. Um, what we got an enchantment scroll, nice. We'll use that now on the power axe, and that's give us plus three block power, nice. And we've got some more brandy there as well. I might leave that brandy because we've got that one for the west and I will take the amber amulet are we looking food wise um, they actually boost immunity as well rhubarb I don't know that well let's eat all of these because I've got a bucket full of water which I can drink from that way I can take the brandy then but my immunity now um, yeah, it should go up. Okay, crack on. Need to get rid of this archer. I don't really want him hitting me from distance. I can't get to him. I have to go up to him. Well, I'll tell you what, I could do there. Right, let's use battle cry, and then he might move towards me. Then, right, he's missed me. Nice. Miss me. Nice. Use the hooking shot on this one. It's um, 19 damage. 9 damage, 17. Nice. And we've got a short bow. And a homemade sword. Right, let's pick the homemade sword up. I don't want the brute cage. I wonder if that short bow is actually better than my crossbow. I'll put it up. It's not. Get rid of that. Let's pick my training crossbow back up. The arrows in, nice. Oh, missed that. Let's look at that. I've got another arrow there. Oh, I've got no, I can't even pick it up. That's right, fine. I could always come back to it. Right, so let's wait. Yeah, there we go. Right, I should be able to hit him with my bow once he's in range. Hehe, <laughs> so he's fell on there, that's good. So he's actually oh, got a medium leg injury at the minute. So let's just keep my distance. Critical, 15 damage, nice. Reload, let's drop back. Okay, let's quickly change to my axe. There we go. I didn't think that was going to take much after he stepped on the trap. Uh, what we got there? Footman mace or an oaken shield. Let's pick these bolts up as well while I'm here. Uh, what should we go for? Oaken shield. I don't want any of them. What about the footman mace? Is that going to be better than any of these? Homemade sword. Probably. Yeah, 120 gold. Right, we'll definitely take that. 
have ourselves a quick deck of our surroundings. Pick up that. There's a bolt over here as well. Got the maximum now. Now the bigger ones, aren't they? I've only got the little ones. That's fair enough. And, oh, what have we got here? Restless Peasant. Yeah, uh, let's swap to our secondary. That hit him. Okay, let's just change back. Right, let's hit him with the fucking shot. Obviously, he's got no weapon now. That's fine. Just a couple more hits. Should be dead. Nice. Oh, come on. both of them. I was in trouble there. So that's good. So with the battle rage obviously it increased my weapon damage quick chance and then I just got a second wound as well which is nice. So as a pitchfork I don't think that's going to be worth much. Right, let's just drop back. I am in pain at the minute as well. Pain 23% but also probably could do healing up. Might use Burdock. I'll reduce my intoxication as well. A quick drink. And then I will use a healing salve on my torso also. Well, let's just get up here and around this corner here and let's just rest. Okay, no, some pain's dropped. That's good. Oh, right, let's crack on. Experience while well, 332, yeah, so it's slowly going up, which is good. As an pitch for, uh, no, I don't want that. Right, you there, you follow me. Oh, and let's use the fucking shot, pull him towards me. Blush his flesh off. No, it's just a pile of night. Oh, four crowns. Lovely. Four lads up. Nothing up here. Let's go down, head towards down this way. enemies in here. Well, let's use battle cry on that just for the fact it gives me the uh, battle rage. And let's hit it. Oh, I can't reach him. Oh, let's step this way. That's it. Fucking shot. Nice. Uh, what we got? A short dagger. Grab that. That's sell for 299 gold. Lovely. Well, let's close that. Let's just quickly rest up. Probably not in pain wise. Nine. That's not too bad. What we do with um healing my torso up. So uh, let's use another healing salve on my torso. Skeleton Monk. Okay, so he has got Desecration. Okay. That door is open, so if there is anyone in there, they'll come through as well. Go and get towards him. Let's use the Battle Rage. Use him, that should be able to creep up on him. Pull him towards me, no. Attack of opportunity, nice. There we go, he turned his back. He should have turned his back on me, fella. 
sarcophagus, and some gold. Got nothing in there. Okay, right, there's quite a few down here. Uh, here has got a spear by the look of it as well. Yeah, and Halo Lunge. Let's use the battle pride for this. Let's try and get them over here. I do need to try and get this up. Um, anything I could use to increase my healing? Don't think there is. Well, let's just sort of wander up here. I forgot up here. I'll we'll get some of my. Opportunities it needs. Oh, okay. Oh, she's battle rage. Oh, let's get him in the fucking drop. Yeah, so he's confused. He's turned around. That's fine. Okay, nice. <clears throat> and he could probably attack me from there. What I might do is. Let's head to this one. Let's just rest up. Let's go around. Ooh! Jeez! Well, I'm in pain and I've got a minor torso injury. And I think, is that it? There's one more following around. I, don't, I can't see anyone. So. First things first, let's heal up. So the torso, I haven't got a splint. No. Aim. Oh, it's gonna have to, gonna have to use these healing salves. What I might do actually, I might leave now. Instead of going to kill the mini boss, I might just actually leave. Sell all this, get some gold to get some better armor and come back. And that's probably the best option because at the minute I'm taking quite a lot of damage. I haven't got the best armour. Let's use these, obviously it reduces the maximum health threshold, so I'm only on 66 at the minute with that aim. But it is healing me, but I'm in pain as well. I've got anything to reduce pain apart from brandy. Was his moderate drunkenness. I could do that. Right, let's leave and I'll stick these in this, in this stash as well. I can sell all these, get some proper armor, and then come back. And what did he drop? Malicious spear. So I might be able to sell that for quite a bit, to be fair. Um, I'll have a look. Let's see what it's like. What condition is it in? No, it's poor condition. It's a one durability. Definitely don't want that one, the steady one, that's fine. Um, what else? Nothing else was dropped. Alright, let's go. That's the plan. Because it's permadeath, I don't want to risk it. Got to play strategically. Um, pain in 35, so what I could do... I don't want to drink the brandy, because that's request but I could drink the mead and it will boost my intoxication but that's okay I'm on zero percent anyway and the thirst change causes a lot of drunkenness as well I think what I will do let's just rest first so I can at least get a bit of health okay, there we go nice on 66 health let's Drink some mead. That should reduce my pain, that's fine. Let's go. And I might 
Actually, your burdock as well gives me health restoration. Uh, let's drink from my big jug. Uh, we're looking on pain wise. Pain's 22%. Okay, that's nice. That's healing up. That's good. And I think we can head back now. Oh, we've got some horsetail there as well. Yeah, the bog, bog bean intoxication change. But yeah, let's eat some bog bean. I'll drink from all jug again. That should sort out the yeah, intoxication is gone, pain's dropped. That's fine. So we look good. We're healing up. Good to go. Right, so let's head onto the map again. Let's head back to Osbrook. Let's go for it. Let's go sell these, get some more gold, and we'll get some better armor, then we'll come back and we'll defeat the mini boss. That is the plan. Right, let's just stop for a minute because I'm hungry. Let's eat a bit of lettuce. What does that give me? Plus minus 10%. Is that it? Oh, that'll do. Drink from my thing again. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, so we're all back at base. Let's go into the inn. Let's sleep because they're all in here. And I should be able to sleep because I bought it for a week. Only has a, a week hasn't passed. There's my door for a bit of privacy. You never know what I'm going to get up to in this room. And a bottle of oil. Nice, no, I can sell that. Let's sleep first. Let's sleep until eight. Take the bottle of oil, we'll sell that, we'll sell the hourglass as well. Oh, let's go get some gold, some better armour. First, let's finish this quest. There we go, finish your task, take your brandy. He's giving me an unidentified amulet. amulet. Nice. You need to teach me. Yeah, so let's do shields, I think. Can we get rid of it? Let's go speak to the smith first. And footman mace, 15 gold for that. Hunter hatchet, 15 gold for that. And 37 gold for a short dagger. Right, let's sell the gold dagger. Uh, it's going to give me 31 for an hourglass. Let's speak to the trader, see what he can give me. Yeah, 35 for the hourglass. Take that. Bottle of oil, get rid of that. 13 and 12 for that. Great gold tooth, we'll sell that. We'll sell the silver cup. And. I think that was it. I wonder if the carpenter would give me more for that. That am amulet, I do want to keep that just for the fortitude. Good salad, 132 gold. Go speak to the carpenter.
you sir Jurg. show me your goods so 16 for that and 15 for that so yeah it's only a little bit more than the uh, blacksmith I'll sell him them and the shiv I'll go sell that to the smith mm, what else that's it well let's go to the smith we'll sell this shiv and see what armor we can buy which is going to give me for that two gold or oh, take it 418 gold so far uh, these are identified objects I'm going to put them back in my stash let's go get a drink fill my water bottles up or my bucket even go and talk to the armor myth let's go see what oh, I can buy for 400 quid Gold even. Not hold, show me your goods, fella. Uh, for this, that gives me frost protection, bleed resistance, dodge chance as well. Uh, Travelling shoes, physical resistance, bleed resistance, and ups my dodge chance as well. Uh, Townsman garment, bleed resistance, and dodge chance. That's good for bleed resistance, 15%. Some high boots I can buy. Physical resistance, nature resistance, bleed resistance, movement resistance, and dodge chance. So that's pretty good. Well, I'm going to buy them high boots, I reckon. Yeah, all right, let's buy them. Let's sell the peasant boots. Whip them. Nice. Uh, what about the bouts? Blue resistance and crit chance. Footman bout gives me 4%. I can't afford that anyway. Uh, the apprentice cowl. I don't think I've got enough to buy another one. I've got a peasant cap, but that's not going to be very good. Arming cap, can't buy that. I could buy the hood. Gives me lead resistance and dodge chance rather than magic power I don't really need the magic power at the minute unless I go down that skill tree later on oh, I'm going to buy it let's buy the hood let's sell the apprentice cow let's put the hood on there we go look at my little dude here now looking good I have only got 35 gold but at least we've got a bit more um Bit better armor. Right, let's go put these unidentified items in my chest. Move them to there. Let's put that in there and that in there. There we go. We've got a bit more space now. Yeah, I could do with some more food. Bandages I'm okay with. Could do with some healing salve as well. I've got some food. If I've got enough. I don't know if I've got enough. It might have to be bread. Bread, 10 gold here. How much is that? 126. Sausage, 105. So you might take the bread because that doesn't spoil for five days. Well, let's take the bread. And it takes up so much room, that bread. Uh, what else have we got? Flat bread, spoils in three days. Pretzel. Let's buy a pretzel as well. There we go. Okay, so it's raining, so I'm getting wet. Good. Um, 
do finding out some rumours really so I actually know what's about. Then have a quick wander around and go speak to people. Right, you there, tell me some rumours. Speak to the market traders. Nothing. No one knows any rumours going on. No one wants to tell me anything. Uh, I did need healing cell as well, but I ain't gonna have enough for the 12 gold. So, let's go. So there's a bridge over here that leads to the, I think that's the brewery. I could head up there. Go over here first, let's go check out the farm. Not some bits lying around, I think there is a scythe lying around. Probably won't sell for much, but I'll probably go in here and probably steal some food actually. And let's cook something. What's that? It's got to be the acorn, surely. Yeah, roasted acorn. There you go, peasant scythe. Pick that up. Ain't going to sell for much, but every little helps. Um, let's go in here and see if we can steal any food. Oh, look at this. I'm hungry now. Let's eat a flatbread. We've got, we've got Barbary. All into, there's no point me stealing them, to be fair. Good, as so they go off anyway. Ooh, that one spores in four days, though. Eat that. I'll steal the pretzel because we've got four days left on that. Um, I don't know what, I'll take it with me. Let's just go for a little wander first. No one's going to spot me out anyway. None of the guards are around here anyway, so. Agrimony, we'll take some of that. Now let's go for a little one last, see if we can find any POIs. Oh crap, ambush. Okay. What is it, just the one? It's got to be more over there. Can't be one guy just ambushing me. No, they are just coming out of things. Nice. Took him out. Let's use Battle Rage. Seventy and ninety-four health. So hopefully it's just them to get that battle cleaver up, hit the peasant, peasant, uh, peasant flail, if I can say it. And hunger's on one percent. Oh, I'm gonna eat that just to get rid of it. Oh, let's rest. Oh, it's just them to. Let's just pull over the bridge. So what we on experience was six hours seven. Okay, so 300 to go for level 3. Yeah, quick look at the maps. There's no POIs over here. Let's just follow this route.
Aha, so we've got a point of interest there. Let's make our way over to that. Let's go and check it out. Get some experience points. On this tile? No, next one. Come on then, let's have you what they got, a, not a dagger, or the look of it, a knife and a flail. Fine. Oh, that's just his battle cry. There we go, he stepped away and it's got him in towards me. Peasant flails, what can I say that? Uh, what am I going to get for that? 133. So that peasant soy is taking up inventory space. Let's get rid of that because I'm not going to get much gold from that anyway. Take that. Let's see a couple of blueberries. Uh, it's also took a little bit of damage. Rest up. Uh, so there is a pretty all around here, where is it? Aha, here we go. Are well, you going to come towards me with your flail? Go. Oh, nice, it's bleeding like a pig at the minute. That's good, just taking some damage. Good if I'd like knock back on it as well. I think that I might look at that knock back effect. And I'll carry on the build. A bit of pleasant flail. Help this wormwood. I need wormwood. Let's just get rid of that agrimony. I can't believe it's in self restoration. Oh, I see that, yeah, that's a pretty tough drink. Uh, first 32. So that. Okay, nice. Check out the rest of this. Let's rest up first. Yeah, there is someone over there fighting. Who is it? Yeah, here he comes. Oh, there's two of them. Let's hit them with battle cry. 27 damage, 29 damage, nice pleasant flail. Have that in a minute. He's just coming towards me, 21 damage. Yeah. Open them up for the fun of it. They won't get much of these flails anyway, so. I suppose it all adds up. Right, let's have a look in camp, see what we've got. There's a guy there. Let's eat some agro metal, there's two of them actually. Right, let's use the battle cry again. For three. There's another one down there. Uh, not sure, but anyway, they're gonna die. Filthy piece of scum. Spite blood. Right, let's take that. 34 for that. Nice, let's get rid of that. It's a bit pleasant flail. Ooh, a little dodger. Right, grab the crowns. Flail. 
play on. Right, let's quickly rest up. Uh, that should be it for this camp, I think. Might be a couple more. Let's quickly check my health. The torso took a bit of damage. I'm really thirsty though, so let's drink. Right, let's go check out the chest. And there's a resting place as well, nice. Got in this barrel. Absolutely jack squats. What we got then? Ooh, 70 gold and we've got a jade figurine which is 750. Nice. Let's get rid of get rid of that sword and let's put the jade figurine in there. It's not enough in hunger wars, 11%, that's fine. Nothing else around here. No other enemies. I think that's it. Okay, nice. So I think, let's head back to camp, let's sell all these. Get some more gold in. And hopefully I should be able to buy some better... I've got the cape. There isn't much to sell them really, I might have to wait till they actually restock. Let's just rest for now, just to get the game saved. Yeah, so that's the plan. We'll go back, we'll get some more gold. That's the name of the game, just get as much gold as we can and possibly I might go do the contract actually. I think I'm pretty kitted out to do the contract first. That's going to give me a lot of experience and a lot of gold coins. So I think that is the plan. So I think I'll leave that here for episode one, guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I do um, like this game and enjoy my playthroughs. Um, drop us a like, drop us a sub. And I'll see you in episode two.